Okay. Hey y'all, this is Camellia City Podcast and I'm here with Drew Burrell and I'm Heidi Daigle and this essentially is to talk about all the events that are happening in and around the Camellia City. So Drew has formulated a list of what's going to be happening this weekend. What do we have? Oh, this weekend, uh, they got the, um, we got the Crawfish Festival on Sunday, of course. It's the fourth annual in Old Town. All right. They're going to have a, a list of bands that are going to be playing also outside on the streets. Let me get that for you. Cool. We also, on Saturday and Sunday, uh, we have the uh, annual Slido Street Fair, which is uh, the spring on uh, 24, and it's all within the, uh, within the city of Slido, Old Town of Slido. So everything's going to be combined together, but it's going to be a fun time, and I know there's going to be great weather, and there's going to be a lot of people out there. Well, we're ready to have some fun. I know that this is going to be a great time to get out and about, get out of the house. I know the cold weather's kind of been keeping us all in, not knowing what too to much, do. Too much, too much. I know it's like I'm ready to just wear my spring colors, Absolutely. spring clothes. I'm ready to get back into my flip flops, essentially. Right. The weather's just been crazy. I know. Because you never know what morning you're going to wake up and you can wear a t shirt and shorts the next morning and flip flops. And then the next morning, you got to wear winter clothes. I know. I always say, like, oh, this weather gives me whiplash. Right. Exactly. I don't know what is happening from day to day. Like, I'm dressing for winter in the right. morning, exactly. summer at noon, and then fall in the afternoon. Exactly. You know? Right. And I think the uh, ACs don't even know what to deal they with really either. Don't. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, the events are going to be fun. The street fair is, like, absolutely one of my favorite things to go to, to walk around, see all the craft vendors, and get some food. They usually have food I'm vendors there. Food. Yeah. I know you're a foodie, but yeah. <laughs> food vendors are good, and I look, I'm a beer man, so the beer vendors are good, too. Yes. So, but there's going to be plenty of alcohol, there'll be plenty of food, a lot of stuff for kids to do on um, the street fair. They got a lot of booths. Um, eventually, once we get started and um, going out, and we're going to be hopefully live at some of the events, we'll, we'll get some of the people out there, and they can tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah. That has more, like the creators and stuff like that. So it's going to be a fun time. I'm looking forward to this. We sat down and talked about it. I know. And, We're so uh, excited. Yeah. So this is like our first time doing this. Yeah. Uh, well, my first time. I know that for sure. I know. I think you have some experience at doing some of the podcasts. Yeah. So I've been on radio a right. little bit. So I did that for about a year and a half. And it's a little different when you're kind of like face to face right. with somebody. Exactly. But I like to see the face <laughs> with the voice. Right. And exactly. see how they're reacting to everything. Yep. So that's really cool. That's awesome. So Ted, did you bring up what music music? Yeah. So uh, the music events uh, this weekend um, over at the uh, fourth annual Old Town Crawfish and Music Festival um, on Sunday. Uh, the first band is going to be the Tease Me Band. They're going to play from 12 to 3. They're going to be at the first uh, street stage. There's going to be like two or three stages set up. So there's going to be plenty of music out there. Oh, nice. So, um, and then uh, Gino, and uh, forgive me if I forget, if I don't pronounce this right, Della Faso, and the French Rockin' Boogie. Okay. They're going to be from 11 to 2 on the Kuzan Street stage. That sounds like And then everybody's favorite from around, or one of the big, big favorites. I can't say everybody's. <laughs> I can't say favorite because there's a lot of great bands. Maybe it's a, a crowd favorite. That, yeah. So it's, how can you put this? Um, I've been in the music business for like uh, several years, just trying to help out getting bands uh, all over from here to the coast. And uh, they got a lot of great bands out there. So I don't want to narrow it down to somebody's favorite band. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just great music is going to be out there. So one of my favorites, and I've grown up with the lead singer, is uh, the Rhythm Chasers with Mike Colgan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so they're going to be on the Kuzan stage from 2.30 to 5.30. And then uh, Crescent Kings will take the stage from 11 to 2 on Cary Street stage. And then the box office giants are going to play on Carrier Street stage from 2.30, 5.30. So you're going to have a, a variety of yeah, a lot of music that's that. going to be out there. Yeah. So because, you you know, with the box office giants, they're more like a punk rock band. Yeah. So you're going to get that. And then you got rhythm chasers who can do a combination of country music. Yeah, they can do uh, pop. They can do, you know, yeah. 80s, 90s, just whatever. Oh, I so, love that. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Crescent, the Crescent Kings, I've only heard them a couple times. Um, not familiar with a lot, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, and they always brought a great crowd wherever I went, so that's going to be good. I was going to say, there's a lot of new and old names that are inside of that list that you just named off. Right. You know, I know a couple of them, and I and there's a couple I don't, I don't even know anything about, which I mean, is cool, yeah. because, right, we get to hear new music, right. new bands. Exactly, and, and, the, and the great thing about it is the three, the three stages are all going to be around each other, so you still get a variety. You can listen to that band, but not 
really getting overpowered by the other banks. Mm -hmm. But then you can see everybody walking around and you can just walk from place to place. So yeah. that's going to make it fun. And then on top of that, you got the crawfish that you get oh, to try. Yeah, I know. And you're going to have <laughs> several different tents out there eating crawfish. And I haven't looked. I had a cast on since December, so I got my cast off. Now I can eat crawfish. Oh, I bet so you're I've been, excited. I've been, oh, I've been waiting. So, we haven't been missing anything because the crawfish have really been non-existent right. and it's been expensive. They have been expensive. I know people trying to get crawfish has been hard because there hasn't been a lot, right? right. The first harvest was terrible. Well, with the drought and everything. So, you yeah. know, with the drought and having all those craw crawfish farms and uh, the places that, I, that I'm affiliated with, we were getting the crawfish down from Egan, Louisiana. and and uh down there by lafayette and all yeah. that you know cajun land crawfish land oh yeah and uh they were just dried they were dried up so you know they you, you do the best you can for what you can get um so now they're starting to come in and they're getting them they're getting decent size so um should be a lot of fun this weekend it's gonna be a lot of crawfish yeah gonna that's be gonna be really I've cool already, yeah i've already seen one of the uh booths already set up down there okay it's a big old crawfish um trailer that'd be nice yeah so somebody's going big wow <laughs> well i know one of my favorite events here that has crawfish is the uh the hospice, hospice crawfish cook-off that's coming up on april that's the, uh, that's always a big favorite too we love that absolutely and that's uh the hospice house and with the hospice house, um, it's a great cause. Um, you know, um, I hate to see people, especially uh, anybody really, um, that has to go on hospice, but um, it's a comforting feeling to have such caring people that are there working with you, your family, mm -hmm. and helping you get through that situation um, with the hospice house. Oh yeah, yeah I've so. had the opportunity to actually tour the facility out here. Right. And it is definitely top of the line, elite, comfortable, you, it, you feel really good about your 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 loved one being there and yep. being able to be with them, and I think it's just a, a fantastic place. If you ever get the opportunity, the the girls over there welcome you to come in to take a tour. You just because you unfortunately you just never know when something like that happens. True. And, and at least you have you know you know that you're acquainted with it, but it's they run solely off of donations, which is fantastic too. That is true, and it's um I, I want to say it's forty dollars at the gate. $35 ahead of time. So worth it. Yes. And then we're, we're going to do another podcast to let y'all know more about it when it gets closer yeah. to the time. That's in April. And then April. we'll have all the, yeah, it's in April. And they also have bands that are going to be set up outside too. Yeah. And that's over at Heritage Park, uh, Fritchie Park. I'm sorry. Fritchie Park. Fritchie Park out there off Old Spanish Trail. And um, it gets bigger and bigger every year. Uh, I want to say the, the last time that I was looking at the stuff, um, they come from 19, there's 50 teams, and they come from 19 different states throughout the country. No kidding. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people locally here to compete. I know I've, yes. I've actually had our office compete in at one time, yep. and that was a, a blast. I learned a lot about cooking crawfish and everything like oh, yeah. that. It's fun. And I love walking around. I've even been a judge for it, which oh, really? that was pretty cool. Yeah, but I mean, once you start eating a couple, and then you get that little <laughs> flavor. Doesn't your palate kind of get messed up and you don't know? No, not on. really, because it's funny how you can actually taste like some are more citrusy and some right. are more spicy and some have just like a different flavor. And right. and there's some that are just like, ah, oh, they just fall flat. Right. And you're <laughs> like, no, that bucket's got to go. Yeah, like, exactly. No, I'm not going with that. That's when, that's when you go to the potatoes and the sausage yeah. and the mushrooms. Well, that's that. not <laughs> included when we're judging. Know, like, but so, but saying, you're right. You know that's what I'm what, saying? That's but the crawfish is a good say, oh, man. I just need to eat some sausage or, or I'll eat some potatoes or corn. Corn so. has got to be probably one of my favorites apart from the garlic in there. I always get like uh, uh, like a bag of corn when I go to right. Penny's. And I'm like, oh, I just I love that, that corn. I'm I'll be picking corn spice. for, for days. I know. <laughs> it's, like, you know corn. it's like eating but popcorn. They did have some corn this weekend. Um, they had, they had somebody that started on the uh, Sunday Fun Day this weekend. Oh, okay. And uh, the fun at um, Brass Monkey. That was fun. And, I was there um, for that. And uh, my buddy Mark ate it. He said, man, that stuff was hot, hot, hot. Oh, yeah. He said it was, I'm talking about the corn. Yeah, and it's not really the apart. crawfish, right? He said the crawfish was good. But I, I, I think um, Patrick and all them do it probably because then they, they go to buy more beer. Yeah. And you just don't drink. Because what goes better with crawfish, corn, and all that? Beer. That's right. And if yeah. it's salty, too, right? right? That's, That's why they always exactly. put those little... 
but I don't know if they still do them now with the little uh, cups of nuts on the bar because you're this way you get people to start eating and yes. it's salty. What do they those. do? They drink more, more beer. beer right. So it's like that's actually one of the tactics that some of the bars will do. Oh, absolutely. But post COVID, I don't know if anybody do that anymore where they leave the little trays of the peanuts in there because everybody's just dipping in there. Right. So some people I haven't are weird seen that, but I do know over there they do popcorn. Yes, they and that's salty. <laughs> that salty. So if you start eating and it, you want to drink <laughs> exactly. more. So. so they definitely do that. But um, but yeah, so it, it was, um, so corn is good and, and that, and like you said, but uh, being a, I don't know if I could be a judge. Oh I my gosh, I can't. I was I no know. problem I love crawfish, <laughs> but it's like you, you sit there and go, man, this stuff's so good. And then, you know, you well, it's different, right? When you're sitting there and you're just eating like a pile of crawfish, right. but when you actually have a task and you're sitting there and you have to see what, you know, you, there's a piece of paper there and you're looking for certain things when you're eating them. Right. So now you're on a mission, right? right? So now you know what to look for and what you're tasting. So it's a whole lot different experience than when you're just eating a, like right. somebody's crawfish boil, right? right? Yeah. So, and then you can, you're everybody, you're sitting at a table like this and and they're trying some and we're just passing it around and we're and we're moving buckets on what which ones right. really do have some fantastic flavor in them yeah. and the process is really kind of cool how we come up with the winner right. and you know it's just it's and everybody's got their own different concoction to put that on oh guys. yeah so, I mean, it's, it's like, like the witch's brew yeah it's, 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 <laughs> Which is kind of scary. It's in, <laughs> in the yeah. witches, bro. So oh, when you no. have a, when you have a witch's walker, you have something around Halloween, and then some people making that. That's pretty. Uh, yeah, because you could do that in Old Town too. I think at the Zombie Walk. Oh, really? Yeah, I think when they have the Zombie Walk in Old Town on in October, um, that they'll have everybody. I think all the bars might put a, a different brew together and then kind of go from there. So it's pretty cool. It really is mind blowing how many events that our little city has Absolutely. going on throughout the entire year. And essentially that's exactly what this podcast is geared towards is right. basically making sure everybody doesn't miss out and has a really good idea of what is going to be coming up, what you can take part in. Um, you know, I get, I'm a realtor here in Slidell, so I get told a lot, what is there to do here? You know, what kind of things do you guys do, you right. know, and it's like, we don't have a lot, but we have a lot going on. Exactly. If that makes sense. Oh, well, uh, exactly. And, um, you know, I'm an announcer here in uh, Slidell. I do a lot of announcing throughout the, uh, throughout the state and uh, I did some over Mississippi also. And they're always asking what's there to do in, in uh, Slidell. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know, we got everything from the Bayou Jam that's coming up, fixing yeah. the start. I think uh, at the end of this month or maybe at the next month, um, we'll get more details on that to you too. But um, the Bayou Jam Fest is, if you can bring a different band in every month. Mm -hmm. And everybody goes over to Heritage Park. Got that one right this time. Yeah. <laughs> so go to Heritage Park, bring your lawn chairs, bring your ice chest with you and just listen to some good music and enjoy the beautiful day out there so and it's if, free yeah that's the key word free <laughs> yeah free. free is the key word right there so i absolutely love that um and then of course fourth of july you got the heritage festival on the fourth of july which is again over there on uh, off of front street at heritage park they do the fireworks over there they'll have bands they'll have booths they'll have all that stuff and once again we'll get more into details whenever we get closer to that too but there's just so much going on. There's always live music somewhere. Yeah. I and love that's that. the best thing that you can do is you can do live music, not just in Old Town, but in the outskirts of Old Town, down Highway 11, going to the landing. Yeah. And listening and see Miss Mary out there, the famous Miss Mary. Yeah. You know, and uh, doing that. And then we have state night all over town. You mm -hmm. got state night from the landing to the wine market to Cote to, you know what I mean? And then they're not all on the same night, right, which is which good, is cool. which is cool. Um, and if you like to eat steak that much, you can go every night. Yeah. <laughs> you can really you can set up a schedule. To exactly. It. <laughs> exactly. But there's always something, like you said, there's always something to do here. And then when it comes to Mardi Gras time. Oh, forget it. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's like, what do you do? I mean, we're known for our, par our parades and our parties over here that's you know? like one of my favorite things is like as soon as the parade's over it's like okay where are we going right, to next exactly. are we hitting old town are we going out to the landing right. you know oh we can't forget the blue crab too they have yes. live music on the weekend they too, sure that, which is a fantastic place that's right there out, out on the water right. it's at that point yep. so you get to see boat traffic coming in and out and i love that like that just reminds me of, of my hometown in south florida right you know right on palm beach you get to see, they got so many restaurants that are out there on the water where you can pull your boat right up to Absolutely. it dock it get out eat listen to music have a drink or two get back in the boat right. and that's what's really cool about 
E. Niles, right? And I don't think people really understand that is that you can get in your boat. And I, I did count this up because I do have houses out there for sale. Right. And I market it like this, that, that you can get in a boat and you can actually stop at four different restaurants there. That's awesome. How cool that is, is that? Cool. And, and people see it when they're coming over, they only know, see houses. Right. They think it's just upscale houses no. and apartments that are, you know, condos that are over there, townhouses that are over there. Um, but yeah, when they started doing the water, um, during the pandemic, mm -hmm. and then we had the, the boat, con the uh, the music would come over on boats. Yes, I did. And, do and that. we used to do that with um, a lot of the bands over here: Category Six, Rhythm Chasers. Um, now they do that at North Shore Beach. Do that. Uh, yeah, they're at North Shore Beach. And um, again, I'll get with Mike Colgan. We'll see if he can come over here and talk to us about it. But they That'd be cool. they do a big old thing out there, and it's grown so big, and it's only like in its third year. Yeah, maybe awesome. yeah so and north north shore beach it's out in the water you pull your boat up in the boat and they're actually playing their music on the boat that's cool yeah so they're sitting up on you know one of those party barges and they got the yeah. drums set up they got it all it's crazy how they come up with stuff like that but it's, oh yeah yeah but um getting back to the restaurants you know you don't know that there's phil's marina back there correct which little, you have they have their own cove. dock right they have their own dock um you got that out there you got the blue crab and the other thing about the blue crab I don't know if everybody knows this, but you have beach volleyball. That's right. Oh my gosh, I played out there, out there for yeah. years. So uh, it's always been out there, no matter what the restaurant was. But with it being the Blue Crab, a uh, buddy of mine plays out there. He used to run it, and uh, they're busy. It seems like I the volleyball, the that's the one constant thing that never stopped right. going on. Exactly. That did perform the best. Yep. So it used to be fun to inside, but now you get the beach and be out there on the water mm -hmm. and get to play volleyball, exercise, and get into shape because you know that's sand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. I think that is amazing. And then um, we do have the new addition of uh, Gilly Gills right. restaurant, which when you're coming around that bend, when you're on coming in from the water mm -hmm. after you pass the Blue Crab, they, that, they're the first stop right there. Right. And then right after that is the landing. Yep. And the landing is a cool place because it does serve food and their food is phenomenal. I honestly was like, okay, going in there for the first time and having drinks, I'm like this is a great place. The atmosphere is cool. Live music is wonderful. Right. They have an awesome back patio. But then when they're like, you gotta try the food, it's great. Yeah. And I'm like, no way. <laughs> this, is, this does not look like some place where the food's gonna be great, and right? And when I got to have some food out of there, I was like, wow, they were right. This absolutely. food is really, really good for bar food. Yep, absolutely. And so, I mean, now I feel like I eat in there once a week. <laughs> you know, I, I get their wings, which are great. Right. Um, I've gotten their quesadilla, which is all their steak night. Their steak is amazing. I mean, I don't even, they look like they're, they're chopped from dinosaurs. Like really? they're that big when it comes out on a plate. I right. mean, it's good enough for two people. So I went there twice mm -hmm. for drinking only. <laughs> I met a bunch of people over there, but I was living in Bay St. Louis at the time. Okay. So we just drove over here, just kind of hung out. Um, so uh, that was the first time that I've been over there. And uh, it was fun. Like yeah. you said, the atmosphere was fun. Adam Pierce um, was from one of the, the music contests. I don't know which one. Oh, American Idol. American Idol. Yeah, Adam Pierce, who was on American Idol, he plays there. And he actually, he's playing in town tonight, uh, this weekend, Friday no night. Kidding. Yeah. So uh, he's a regular around here now. Oh. They said everybody, yeah. So he was actually playing. That was the first time I ever got to hear him in live. And then they had, to, like you said, the place was backed out. Now they have uh, out there. They got a big old. Um, I think it's a ship, like a you know, like a uh, out there. And the kids get to climb on at it. Gilly like a, at Gilly Gills. At Gilly Gills, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so and a uh, nice little sandy beach yeah, area too. Exactly. So you know um, what else they cool. have out there? So their patio is really cool, and they have um, I don't know if you ever been to um, Cozumel, uh -uh. and they've got some uh, bars that have like these swings, and you can sit on at the bar and go back and forth. <laughs> like Gilly Gills, they have the same like an outdoor bar area right there, and they have the swings. That's awesome. And you can sit there and swing, and I was like, wow, I feel like it's I'm transported right. a little bit. You know, <laughs> even though I have the E Nile view, which is still. Right. but I mean it takes you back you're like yeah this is really good and then yeah. you can sit on that swing and watch your kids play on the ship yeah. play in the sand and definitely a family atmosphere it is yeah. and that's what we need more of because right. this is our hometown which is basically built up right. of, of families absolutely I know I've had the, the fortunate time to, to raise my family here yeah. and I've had a great time
time doing it. Yeah. You know, with all the things, all the events that I've taken my son to over the years. Yeah. We've had so much fun. We've met so many people. Yeah. You know, and that's another cool thing too is that you get to meet a lot of people, a lot Absolutely. of people with their businesses, oh, small yeah. businesses. Yeah. And I, I still support some of the small businesses today that are still thriving yep. from that time that I've met them out on the street fair. Absolutely. And, um, you know, and then some of the people that were here with their old businesses, they turned it over to their families, create yeah. that, you know, like create that. That's an old town used to be Dunaways mm -hmm. or used to be the who that shop. Yeah. So now they dropped it up. Uh, they, they sent it down to part of their family. Matter of fact, I, I actually taught one of the daughters that it owns You're create that, Yeah. Over at Saddle High. So, um, but yeah, so like you said, it's a family atmosphere and they just, and the local businesses are turning it all over to their families now to keep it that way. And uh, that's what makes Slidell so much fun. Oh yeah. Is that it's a family. And then once you start meeting people, they become your family. Oh, absolutely. And it's like, I look, I moved here in 81. I knew nobody, mm -hmm. but I was, I was in eighth grade at the time. And now, you know, now you can walk down the street and you, you know, everybody. Oh yeah. You know? So, that's so what I, that's love, cool. I love about this place. So, I mean, I moved here in 2013. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know a soul, you know, mm -hmm. being from uh, South Florida, I was actually living in Metairie for five years. But when you leave the South Shore, it seems like it's a whole different world over here, right? Absolutely. So it's like I started over completely. And then once I started meeting people, I was, it just like they took me in like they're, I'm their friend. Right. And it's it's different from the culture that I was raised in because we're not as friendly. Exactly. And <laughs> I've grown to really come accustomed to right. this and it's so great. So now when I go home and I start talking to people, they're looking at me weird now. Exactly. You know, so it's like I don't fit in there no right, more. Right, exactly. Well, look, I was born in Buffalo, New York. Really? So, but I was raised in, in Slidell. So, okay. I moved to, we moved to Baton Rouge, but between Baton Rouge and Slidell, we moved to Baton Rouge when I was four. And okay. um, and there were people like, you're always so nice. How are you from New York? Because New York is the bad rap. Yes. No matter if you're from the west side or from the, wherever, yep. anywhere in New York, you're going to get the bad rap that oh, yeah. they're so rude, they're, you know, obnoxious. they're mean, obnoxious. Yeah. Which isn't the case. I can tell you that I got a lot of family still up there, loving to death, and they're the nicest people in the world. And I'm not just saying that because they're my family. Yeah. <laughs> but I tell you the truth, I think, man, I'm pretty blunt when it comes to that. <laughs> but no, honestly, um, when you're here in Slidell, uh, and then you you don't see people for a long time, and then you have these events that come in. Well, people still come in from all over the country mm -hmm. or world, whatever you want to call it, um, no matter where they live they come in for certain events here in Slidell because it's a tradition to them. Yeah. Like the Heritage Festival or, you know, uh, I know it's only four years for the Crawfish Festival, the Arts Festival that they started doing. Um, you know, just different things like that, the street fair. And you run into those people and you're hanging out with them and it's like you never lost time. Yes. You know what true. I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, oh, my family's back. You yeah. know, and then you're sitting there talking to them and, and uh, you're catching up and you're just doing you just doing what y'all used to do before. You know? it, it really it's just, is. It's crazy. And it seems like it's the same group of people that do go out and do all these things. So it seems like when I'm out and about, I hear Heidi yeah. yell exactly. from some <laughs> location in, in Old Town. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. Right. You know, and, and that's a comforting feeling. Like I really like that small town feel where yeah. everybody knows one, one another. And exactly. everybody's really inclusive. And, yeah. and it's great. It's a great place to live. It's a great place to grow up. Yeah. It's a great place to work. You yeah. work in it i work in it i bring people into this town and uh you know sadly i take people out right. you know but they usually come back right. i move exactly. people back in <laughs> i moved away for the last four years and i came back so. me too and yeah. it's just i can't replicate this magic that we have in this town with everything that's going on yep. with the with the events that we have with the people we've got the culture right. it's just it's just amazing it's something here that we've got that they, they really don't have many other places and i've done a lot of traveling in, in my time and i just it's amazing i can tell you what it is what is it besides the atmosphere besides the people the food oh yeah <laughs> this is true yeah this so is the food true. you gotta have food and you gotta have drinks it, when <laughs> yeah. i'm out of town and i say i'm from new orleans they're like oh the food is so great that's right. the first it's, thing it's, they go exactly. to so I mean, and, and I get reminded that all the time. It's yeah. like, you know, so I bring a, uh, if I go to New York, I bring a thing of Tony Sachs. Of course you thing. do. <laughs> I've actually, did you know they make packets? Yes, we have those. I out. saw a lady pull a packet out of her <laughs> yeah. purse. I was like, oh man. I have a, uh, that's about, smart. At, the restaurant I just left and bought that I was over in Bay St. Louis, which I still help out with with some of the stuff on the bookings and the bands and that. But uh, they have them. That's what we have for our tables is 
little packets of uh, seasoning. Nice. Like salt, pepper, exactly. It's like, we forget the tones. salt. No, but yeah, forget salt and pepper. <laughs> we just got Tony's. Throw that on there because you might as well. You got salt in there anyway. So. I love going to Rouse's. So okay. coming from Florida where you're growing up with either Publix, Publix. or Winn-Dixie <laughs> yeah. and coming into Rouse's, I'm like, I am amazed at all the choices you get for seasoning. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it is just like, it's a library. Oh, I feel yeah. like you don't, you don't stop at Tony's. It seems like everybody's got their version right. of their Tony's, yep. right? Which is really cool because it does taste different. Yep. And I, every time I go in there, I feel like I get a new one and a new one. And, and all of a sudden, my spice rack now has 92 seasonings <laughs> in it. And they're categorized and, and all not, that. And 90 of them are, are like Cajun seasonings. The other one are just little yeah. salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, okay, this is for chicken. Right. This is for fish. Exactly. This is for beef. And yep. I mean, the list goes on and on. And, and it's amazing how much we love our flavor here. And we love our flavor, not only our food, our pizza people, right. our music, exactly. our culture, everything. Right. And it's it, it's awesome. Yeah, they love we're giving you a little bit of everything. We're giving you food. We're giving you um we're giving you drinks. We're giving you events. We're giving all that kind of stuff out. We're gonna eventually start talking about the events mainly and then go through when events come up. We're gonna have somebody to come in and talk to us about it. We'll ask yeah. them a bunch of questions. Let them give more information than what we can give them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just like um, a more in-depth look. Yeah, more in-depth look. So uh, being a part of the Mardi Gras parades, because I'm the announcer for all the Mardi Gras parades. Which you do so well. well I appreciate that. And uh, thank you to the, to the mayor, Mayor Cromer. Um, yes. You know, and the whole, all of the crews, I can't thank y'all enough for allowing me to do that because it, it means a lot to me and I love as y'all can tell, I love to talk. I'm starting to lose my voice. Yeah. But I announce almost seven days a week. So it's, or doing something seven days a week. And uh, I don't stop talking. But um, anyways, each crew has a different event going on. And some of them have an event every week. Wow. Or some of them will do an event once a month um, for the Poseidon. The Poseidon's got a crawl. Uh, in two weeks, uh, they'll be um, having their, uh, their annual get-together golf tournament. Oh, cool. So they're going to have that. Um, they're gonna they're gonna have uh, category six is playing at the pre party the night before. Very nice. Um, Mondays the crew of Dionysus does bingo over off of West Hall. Okay. So if you if you want to uh, win a lot of money, yeah, uh -oh. and do it, and you can drink <laughs> and play bingo over here. So uh, so you can do you can actually go over there and uh, sign up. They give you you get your little dots. Mm -hmm. You can buy into all these different kind of cards. I'll have to get more information. Yeah. I don't call that one, but. Um, I have once before, but uh, but anyways, there's a lot of people that show up and they're, they show up faithfully every Monday. That's pretty and cool. And so they do that, and I think all the proceeds go towards um, they they go towards that. But they're also a part of which is very very huge. And there's there's some other people that are uh, huge with it. Um, I know Jeff with Century Twenty One is uh, big with it, and that's Riley's bikes. Oh yeah. So they have a big bash every year. Yeah. So that's a that's a a. Uh, I don't want to say it's a Dionysus because I think it's more Jeff and Leslie that it's run kind of that. A spin -off. that. Yeah, it's a spinoff of that. Mm -hmm. But the money goes towards Raleigh's bikes. Mm -hmm. And um, what they do is they have a big party at their house out in Lakeshore Estates. Yes, I've been and there a few times. You, you pay to go, yep. but it's well worth the money. Well worth it. Doesn't matter how much it is, it's Lots well worth the money. Um, and it's just, you know, it's for a great cause, is what yes. it's all about. And it's at Christmas time. So we have a great time with that. Yeah, he does um, a great job. She does a great job at just decorating the house, making it look beautiful. Right. I mean, it's it, it's wonderful. Right. It's a good time. We're always hoping every year for good weather for that. Absolutely. It's, a, it's an outside mainly event yep. and a little bit of it inside. They open their home up. Yeah. Which, but mostly it's out on the back deck, out on the the back by the pool. And, and there's different levels of decks back yes. there. And, and, <laughs> and they got stairs. I know. And then they got different bars. I mean, they got bars everywhere. Right. Which gotta be there. tricky that's when you're that. drinking in the stairs. <laughs> Not always a good combination. Exactly. Exactly. But that's you know that's some of the events that are coming up, and I'm just looking at here on my phone. And I apologize if I keep looking down because I'm trying to check out more events. But on Saturday, May 11th, from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., the crew of Celine is going to have a poker uh, poker crawl. And uh, when they have that, it's going to be at the American Legion Post uh, 374 here in Slidell off of Cary Street. Cool. So with the poker run, normally you at a poker most poker runs they right by boat. Right on the water. Yeah. It, this could be a poker crawl. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, it is a crawl. My yeah. bad. It is a <laughs> I just said that too. Anyways, but on a crawl, which they what they mean by a crawl is you're in, you're not by water, and you go from bar to bar to bar in that town, 
Hey, that's a crawl. So you're actually crawling from bar to bar. <laughs> And who doesn't yeah, like that? Exactly. Who doesn't like a bar to bar, right? But you're going to start at Cary Street over there at the American Legion. Okay. And then um, you'll probably, you can go to Heidelberg's. You can go to probably Damasco's. You can go to um, Electric Avenue, Brass Monkey. You know, just all the different bars. Um, and then you got the Whiskey and Ash. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully by, I don't know if it's going to be open, but they got a tequila bar that's going to be opening up right next door. I know. I've heard so, all about so it. So you never know what kind of events are going to be happening yeah, at a tequila bar. But we'll get we'll get into that also, and then you know I'm sure with the bars like the pizza place and um, the Old Town Pizza, and then uh, with um, tacos and beer. Oh, great! Yeah, so yeah. I'm sure they're they're gonna have something, and then it's Bistro, correct? Fifty five. Fifty five is on the corner where it used to be the old wine garden. Yes. Yeah. So and. K wives can't forget K wives. Yeah. Can't, oh, and arcade, the new arcade. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's cool right too. there next. It's actually right next door to American Legion. Oh, and we can't forget my buddy Jeremy Restaurant Co. That's Maple right, Rome. the Maple. Yeah, Rome. you can't forget them because he always has stuff going on too. Plenty of and, live uh, music there yeah, too. Absolutely. Um, he used to do. Um, they had um, trivia night too over there, but I don't know if he still does it. But I'm, I think I don't he does. know if they do or not, but yeah. I have done trivia night there before, yeah. and it was a good time. Yeah. I like when they choose like the theme. Yeah, you really don't uh, no, you don't you realize mean. until you you're like, wow, I really know a lot about nothing. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, that's true. And you know, Brian's Monkey does the same thing because you know they got they got the Slingo. Do you have you ever heard of Slingo? No, what's that? So Slingo is bingo, but with music. Oh. So you got to try to figure out what song and. Or band or something. That's fun. I have yeah, done I've that in other places. I've never seen that before. Oh, if you haven't, and done, I haven't it's been fun. to it. I haven't been to it over there, and um, and that. But I've been, of course, I did the bingo over there. But um, but other than that, um, you know, they got different events that are happening all over. You can always find something to do. Oh, we yeah. did. Um, well, me and a friend of mine, um, we went to Heidelberg's Friday. We kind of bounced around for a little while. I saw you started, there. Yeah, and then we stopped. <laughs> true, true story. Then we stopped, but they had karaoke night that night. Yes, they did. So you had karaoke night, and you got some good ones, and you got some bad ones. I'm one of the bad ones, but I didn't get out there and sing. It's so funny because uh, my sister, she lives in Orlando, and there's this place called Big Daddy's, and they do karaoke. And that's a fantastic bar to do it, too. Right. And uh, her and I were talking. She's like, you know, she's like, I never heard you do karaoke at Big Daddy's. And I was like, yeah, because there's always a three-hour wait. Right. And we're always either way gone after right. that or exactly. I never even make it that right. far, you know. Right. So it's like with, with the Heidelbergs, it's like you can get right in. There's no wait. Right. So we can hear how great you are or how not so great. And well, I think I, that's what karaoke is about. We want to hear how not so great you that's are. That's what I was just fixing to say is that, you know, um, it's great that they got people out there that can sing and they mm -hmm. want to show off their talent. I totally understand that. But karaoke is not the place to do that, in my opinion. Yeah, it's great that you can because that's your at, that's where you're at at the time. But I think karaoke is more, my personal opinion, again, is for people like me that can't sing. <laughs> and for everybody to have a good time. So at my buddy's bar that's over in Bay St. Louis, um, Rags to Riches, mm -hmm. and I'm affiliated with Dan B's. So hello everybody if you're out there. <laughs> um, but anyways, he does the um, rag on Wednesday. Uh, Shane and uh, and uh, Craig do karaoke on Wednesday nights, and you got these people that are amazing. Mm -hmm. And they're the only ones signing up because everybody else is like, "Well, I ain't following that." Well, it's hard to follow. That's a tough it's very to hard follow, to follow, right? So if I walk in the door, they start writing my name down, mm -hmm. like Craig will. Craig will write my name down and do three or four songs, but and I'm back to back to back, and I'm like. <laughs> So what's your song? What's your well, karaoke well, said, song? But here's the thing. He just throws stuff up there, and I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad they got the TV up there. But the thing is, is that then you got people going, well, this idiot can get up there and sing. Gives everybody would, else a chance. Gives them a chance to do it. Yeah. And the people that are so good, they go sit down and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and it's, I mean, that's just the way it is. It's just, you want to have fun. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I mean, I love to listen to people sing. But if I want to listen to people sing that song good, I'll just do it on the radio. Right. Or go download a song. Right, or, or download whatnot. a song or whatever. But And I'm not trying to be mean, mm -hmm. but that's what karaoke is about. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been at Heidelberg so, plenty of times where I'm like, wow, this is borderline really good. So and we're my, dancing to it. So, so my go-to thing is, and I can't sing it, but unless he sings it with me, is Garth Brooks, Friends in Low Places. Oh, yeah. That's a good <laughs> but one. But every time I sing, I get the whole crowd singing with me. That's a crowd favorite. Just because... The, they drowned me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, it depends on what time of the night, too. You're probably singing that. that. that Everybody's singing by the end of the night. Right. So um, one other event, it's I guess it's a big event or it's not a big event. It's really not an event. But last night, guess what opened up? What opened? The Dell Trailer Bar. The old Southern Comfort. No kidding. Yes. So somebody bought the, uh, they got the old Southern Comfort. They redid the whole thing. Yes, they have the mannequins in there. And uh, they got pool tables. They're going to do the karaoke, but it opened last night for the first time. I wonder so if we're going to have the ribbon cutting. So, I guess we're going to have to go. So if you don't know where that's at, that's right down the street from where we're at right now. Um, on right Gauze. here on Gauze East. And um, it's going to be... Um, Quite interesting to go in there and see what's going on. Because the trailer has been there since I was in high school. Really? I'm 55 years old, so that's a long time ago. <laughs> you know, and uh, the 80s. And, I'll have to put um, that on the list to go it, check that uh, out. It's going to be pretty cool. So I can't wait to go try that. And uh, I don't know about playing a pool, but, you know, because I can't see. <laughs> I don't know why, fun. but it seems like when I play pool, I do better when I drink. Right, exactly. <laughs> when I'm like, I'm sober, I'm playing, I'm, I'm not as focused for some reason. Right. So. <laughs> I can definitely see that. I can definitely see that. All right. So um, we also have a couple of uh, business um, opportunities that are coming up. Uh, the EST Business Alliance Business Appreciation and the Awards Luncheon is coming up on May 7th at 1130. Uh, it's the East St. Tammany Business Alliance. Yes. And uh, that's going to be at the Harbor Center. So we're not going to do just events that, that are like that. We're going to do also business events and we'll do or you know yes. some kind of galas and stuff like that oh yeah is that cool absolutely yeah so that'll give us more stuff to talk about right. and, um, and i know i tend a lot of that no, no, stuff no. too yeah. and so do you yeah absolutely so we're able to be t able right. to be at it talk talk about it yeah. and recap it so. and we'll do the same we'll do the uh chamber of commerce stuff i know they have yeah. i know they kind of combine since i've been going they combine together yep. uh from the east and the west which is cool and i used to be affiliated with that a lot the harbor center has a lot of stuff going on they already um, had recently the food truck festival. I know the foodie. Yeah. Oh, that's a plenty of food out there. That was really and cool. And the only problem is, is that you got to try to decide which one you want to eat. At. I know. <laughs> if it was free, I would eat them all. <laughs> but I it's know. Like, but it's like you know, and like I understand. Like a candy store. Right. Exactly. Candy store. Where do you go inside? <laughs> oh, I Without know. Without the food trucks, they got candy everywhere. Yeah. They got candy. They got candy. They got different flavors of popcorn. They got all kinds of stuff. But um, I can't remember the name of the one um, the one truck my son went and got was these crawfish boudin egg rolls. Oh, that sounds so some, good. It had some sauce on them. Oh, they were they were so good. I mean, you had me at egg roll. I've never had a bad egg roll. Especially well, I've had a couple bad. Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say where, but I have. <laughs> but it, crawfish and boudin, I mean, can't go wrong with that. That no. sounds really, really good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm looking here, trying to figure out what else they got going on around uh, the area. Um, okay, here we go. So my buddy, who was just the king of uh, St. Patrick's Day, Christian okay. Lagrand, 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 Lagrand. Uh, several people say it different ways, but anyways, he is the owner of uh, Southside Cafe, one of the owners, and um, he was just the king of the St. Uh, Patrick's Day parade. So uh, Friday, May tenth. Save the date. They got the Bushwhacker Golf Tournament out at Oak Harbor. Very so good. So that should be fun. That's so, always a fun um, time. Yeah, those are, uh, I don't know how many years he's been in existence. Let me see if it has it on here. But you can sign up. Um, it says save the date. It's going to be May 10th. And all the benefits, for all the proceeds for that, the benefits are uh, going to go towards the Slido Ladies of Liberty, the Shriners Hospital for Children, and the Navy SEAL Foundation. That's fantastic. So, yeah. So this is a major fundraiser for us to cover large portions of our postage expense for the for the year for all that. So, that's cool. which is phenomenal, you know. And um, that's the that's the one good thing about everybody that puts on an event out here. It's not just to get them money. Yeah. It's for them to give money to to the people where they really need the money. You know. And, and that's why I love supporting those charities that just benefit our community here as a whole. Right. You know, if we can take that money and put it back into our community, fantastic. It doesn't go anywhere national. Right. You know, it benefits our little area, and that's what we want. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%.
but that's a good time. I love the golf. I have a good time. I've sponsored holes out there. That's always a fun time right. too, to be on the other side yeah. and watching everybody come through. Absolutely. And I like being and actually doing the event too. That's always a good time. So if you can get out there with a sponsor, a hole with your business or go out there with a buddies and play the course, like yeah. the, play the tournament, that's fun too. Yeah. You know, they have so much fun going all day long. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. And then to get back to some of our other events that just passed up, um, we had the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Phenomenal, phenomenal parade. Yeah. It's uh, probably the it's the biggest parade that's in town. Um, you know, uh, we have great, 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 great Mardi Gras parades. Mm -hmm. St. Patrick's Day is just one, and it's just in a confined little area. It's I'm in a two and a half miles. I'm literally still and, eating the, the potatoes <laughs> and oranges right. I caught from exactly. this float. You know? Exactly. Uh, if you don't want to go grocery shopping, this is the parade you want to come to to get your veggies. For real. To get us here. Onions, <laughs> potatoes. Carrots. Lots, lots, yeah, carrots. <laughs> yeah. So just be on just be on the lookout for something flying. Yes. It. And it's you funny. Know because like we went into this my son and I and my boyfriend and he's like look he's like everybody has a one cabbage minimum per person like mi maximum per person and I'm like oh because he doesn't want to carry all right. this stuff exactly. back to the car right so I'm like okay everybody gets a cabbage so by the end of this whole thing you know I got a cabbage my son probably got three right. and then he my boyfriend who said this Got had three. three. <laughs> and I look at him and say, wait a minute, the person that established the maximum amount we're allowed to have has three? Right. He's like, well, you know, I saw people on the freight route I knew and they gave me one. What was I yeah. going to tell them? No. Yeah. You know, so I'm like, exactly. oh my. <laughs> so, exactly. All bets are off when right. you go to the parade route exactly. and you're seeing people you know that know you yeah. and having a good time. So I was like, okay, yeah. now we know how the rules right. work and bend and everything like that. Right. So, and if you haven't been, it's uh, uh, it's a great time. This was my first year getting to, uh, getting to announce it um, at City Hall, so I got to be sitting sitting up on the perch. Uh, we How started. Was that? Oh, it was amazing because okay. I have. It, it's not like Mardi Gras parades where they start down on Pine Street and then they get to us. Then we do the announcing stuff. Yeah. I start the parade. Oh, cool! So it was like at twelve forty three. I went through all the bios of every Duke, every every maid that they had, and then the king and the queen. That's and nice. uh, shout out to Nicole, our queen this year, 2024. She was the queen of St. Patrick's Day Parade, and she is the proud owner of Heidelberg. Nice. Yeah, so she's an amazing lady too. Um, along with Christian, you couldn't have had two better people being the king and queen this and, year. And it was a great and, day. Yeah, and the king this year was his, it's the first time we ever had a king. And they, oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah never had a king, yeah. Never had a king, so they've had a grand marshal. Okay. But they never had a king. And then LSU Lenny was a four star. <laughs> he was the uh, grand marshal this year. So Very gotta cool. love him. I've been knowing him since high school and his daughters and uh, they're, it's just an amazing family, but it was well deserved for him. And he ate every second of it up. That's so he nice. He had so much fun. And he actually lives on the route. Oh. So okay. his house is down there, uh, down the road from uh, Old Town and stuff. So he's on the route. And um, but where it starts right there in front of me by the auto in between auditorium and the city of Slidell, they start there and then they work their way down, cross over Fremo, go up by the uh Bonnie Seas, mm -hmm. and then they hit Front Street, then they come down and then they go back through yeah, and they it's weave just in. yeah, they weave in and out. And then they but take it back to Front Street. Right. And then they go down to Poncha Train and then they come back to Front Street, and then they end up off of Robert Street. But it, it's only two and a half miles. Yeah. But it seems like it's forever. It did. It did you seem know. like it was very long. Have you ever ridden in it? No. You have to ride in it. You have got to <laughs> okay, ride it. Okay, maybe this have, is be I, So this I've been I've been on every aspect of it. I've rode it. Okay. I've sat there in the sat in the crowd with it and now I've announced it. Okay. I'm staying with the announcing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long day. Yeah. And then you know, you plenty of green beer floating on the uh yeah. on the on the you know. And then you start off the morning with the uh, Irish car models. Oh, Lord. Before you even get on the float. So, I mean, yeah. I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't yeah, make it happen. But, uh, but anyways, but um, I, I don't want to sound like a lust. I, I do drink <laughs> some, but not a lot. No more. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, but they're a lot of fun. The events are so much fun. And um, we got Christmas time. We have arts arts and crafts events for Christmas. That's right. That are at the, uh, out at the Harbor Center. Um, do we do a Christmas parade around here? Now we do a boat Christmas parade. 
and Ian Isles. Oh, okay. They do the vote charisma. Okay, that's awesome. Yes. So what, you been to them? Yes. All right, so, so tell me about that. That's a really cool thing, too. They they start off over at Phil's Marina Cafe. Okay. And then they usually weave their way into uh, Eden Isles down there. They go down Marina Drive, and then they sling around in a few of the neighbors, okay. neighbor, neighborhood area there, right. streets. Um, this year, I had a house for sale on the parade route there. That and had been awesome. I have, the, my clients asked that if I op do an open house party for them, and I had a band there wow. that was on their back porch. So and then we had people there and we had food right. and and here comes the parade That's and so awesome. everybody got ran out down by the dock right, right there was on the deck and the boats are coming by right. and we happened to be where the house is at at the turnaround yep. so they turned around and went back so we got to see the parade come down and then turn back through yeah. and that was amazing to see how these boats are are just so well lit right. and all the decorations we saw the Grinch it was really cool That's it was awesome. funny going in and around the boat. Um, but that's a really awesome parade. And it's at nighttime. It right. starts around 6.30. Okay. And then makes its way through United. So everything's decorated with Christmas yes. lights. Yes, and you can see, I believe they pass by also the uh, the restaurants. So okay. like the landing, Gilly Gills, all through there. Okay. So you're able to see it if you're out the there. The Blue Crab and all that. Blue does it Crab goes, it goes well. out there yep. and Phil's Marina. Yep. And it, well, it starts at Phil's Marina. Yes, right? and okay. then it comes around through there and okay. it weaves its way. And, and then also the they have a Mardi Gras boat parade as well. Crew of Bills. That follows that that's, same that's, route. That's on a Saturday. So it, that's I a huge that. selling point yeah. when I'm trying to sell these houses. I say, hey, but be prepared. You're going to have two parades a year behind your house, and that's going to be a Christmas boat parade and a Mardi Gras boat that's parade. That's a great marketing tool, too. It is. It's, it's a great really marketing neat. tool for selling a house. So um, the other thing I want to tell you all, too, that we don't only have the street parades for Mardi Gras, but we also have in Old Town, we will have the um, dog crew Crew of Paws. Oh, cr yeah. Yeah, the Crew of Paws Parade. They'll have that. We have the Moon Pie Parade, which started back up again this year. And then I want to say Merry Christmas, and I might be wrong for this. It they was had like a golf, golf cart cards. parade. Now Slidell City of Slidell has golf carts. Yeah. So um, it has to be electric. Cannot be gas. I just sell mine. <laughs> I missed my golf cart. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. I went to that. Yeah. It was really so good. So it's nothing but golf carts, and um, it's a, a golf cart. You decorate your golf cart, and it's another parade. Slide Some down. of them were really elaborate. Oh, I yeah. just have I to can, say, oh, yeah. I should've... didn't even realize that a couple of them were golf carts. Oh, yeah. And they were that well put together. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You, you'd you be amazed. Um, we're coming from Bay St. Louis, and we have the Boo in the Bay Parade. And uh, not to throw them out there, but um, I mean, they might be watching too. You never know. Yeah, you never but, know. But uh, but a lot of people from Side don't go over there for that. Yep. And you're talking 400 golf carts and wow. jeeps because they do the jeeps too over there. Yes. So along with the golf carts, and um, like you said, you can't tell if it's a golf cart or what. It's crazy. It's pretty amazing. And it is. It's the things that these people come up with. Yeah. I mean, you got to be a very very magnitude and creative. creative. That's yeah. what I was talking about. <laughs> I can't even, you know, when I'm sitting here going, man, this is crazy. How do you think it's something? But you can appreciate it, right? No, absolutely. It's like, wow, this is something cool to see. Right. So, I mean, I feel like every year we're starting new things. We're, yep. we're, we're keeping up with the old things and, and the old traditions. And, you know, I know there was a few new things added like that. And then also some uh, Chalk the Walk. That was, uh, I think, last weekend or the yep. weekend before that, which they did that. And they've got something like that that they do in my hometown um, where it's, we call it the uh, street painting festival. And it's a weekend thing too. And you've got artists that come in from all over just to go ahead and chalk the street. And some of these paintings on the ground, these chalk paintings are just like as if they took a brush and, and painted it right on the street. It's right. amazing. That's awesome. Really cool. That is awesome. Um, we also had the... Uh the arts festival one mm -hmm. Friday night yeah, where you can walk around and, um, or Saturday, I can't remember what day it was. Might have been a Friday. I think it was Friday was night because I night? went to it and it started around 5.30 in the afternoon. It goes to about 9.30. Yeah and, yeah. and it was nice because we were going and we were in and out of the antique shop there, <laughs> which is fun well, because yeah. you <laughs> never know what you're going to find right. in these antique shops. Yep. And I uh, actually wound up buying something that was pretty cool. So did they, um, cause I, uh, the place where I used to be at, they do what is called Second Saturday, so it's kind of like the same thing. Yes. And uh, they'll they'll have like a little acoustic band sitting out front of the the place or anything. But as you're shopping, do they give you free wine and no. food and stuff like that? Uh, some places they did. They did. And like okay. the um, where the arts uh, were like the displayed there, they right. had some cheese and and wine, some security security board stuff. Right. 
um, a little bit of that that right. was sprinkled throughout. Um, the shops mainly didn't. Okay. So just where they were displaying the art, like if it was the art was being displayed in a restaurant, like the pizza shop had uh, artists in there. Uh -huh. um, down by uh, uh, Bistro Fifty Five, they had some artists in there with okay. some food. So it, it was right. mainly like that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So here's another event I just came across. That's crazy. It's called Speedway Slot Car Racing. Oh. So this is coming up, and that is going to be this Saturday at 1.30, and it's called Junior Racing. So anyone 14 and younger wants to uh, wants to participate, they can go. And what it is is they no equipment or experience needed, rental car race on the oval. So owners uh, race on the king cars and the controllers. So it's remote controls. Oh, that's fun. So the kids would have a blast. So yeah. see, that's what we're talking about, that it's a family-oriented town. You can do more stuff, and they even have stuff for some of the kids to do. That's really, where you is know? that located? That's going to be at um, Johnny Smith, Johnny F. Smith Boulevard, uh, Suite B, uh, 316, and which is in Slide Out off of Highway 11 yes. over there um, by the old county market and all that when you're going out towards Palm mm -hmm. River. So um, they got a big old setup out there. They got businesses galore. Oh, yeah. And I think the Mardi Gras stuff's out there. They got the Mardi Gras um, light-ups is out there. Mm -hmm. um, they also have... Um, I think the floats might be some of the floats might be out there. there. Maybe some or they built some. Out there. Yeah, they got some other they got some other businesses out there also. Yeah. It's a John, it's a Johnny Smith. Yeah. Uh, what they get something business part, part. business part. Yeah. So. Well, which no matter cool. what you're looking for or what's out there, I know there's something for everybody, which is really cool. Absolutely. So, so this weekend, definitely put on your calendars the street fair, yeah. the crawfish festival. Yeah. And one other thing, they have the annual fishing rodeo. At the Tammany Yacht Club uh, on Harbor Drive. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's uh, this that's this Saturday. And that's right above Phil's. Yep. So uh, so that's another thing to do. But uh, but uh, this was fun. I know this, this was, was great. A... I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as we enjoyed doing it. Absolutely, absolutely. We've been talking about this, and I was kind of nervous, but you know what? Once we started talking, it was it was fine. Yeah, so. that's a good. Time. But yeah, but once we get more events uh, closer to us. We'll get more information, and then we'll invite people over here and get the get their aspect from what they're doing and uh, why they're doing what they're doing and where the proceeds go to and all that stuff. But we hope everybody had a great time. Once again, I'm Drew Burrell. I'm Heidi Daigle. Y'all have a great day.